As we age and science advances, we find ourselves surrounded with futuristic treatments. One example is joint replacement. Many people don't understand that metal implants, though stronger, aren't as good as healthy bone. This is because bone is a living tissue that reacts to its environment, changing and healing much like muscles do. Metal implants simply can't do this. Accordingly, when we reconstruct a joint, sometimes the bone around an implant is understimulated and can wear away over time, leaving the implant unsupported. This can cause implant loosening, and like a plastic spoon, the implant can fail from repeated bending. To address these problems, engineers at the Hand and Upper Limb Center's Bioengineering Lab work with surgeons to apply engineering methods traditionally used in automobile design to analyze implants. By building finite element computer models, engineers can break down the complicated shapes of the bone into small elements in which bone stress can be tracked, from before the bone is injured to after it's reconstructed with an implant. This way, we can design new implants that provide the stimulation the bone needs, leading to better patient outcomes through the application of engineering and scientific principles.